finally. <laughs> I'm the last presenter. And I'm going to talk about my fabulous drawing. And this name is Univers Hall. It is based on my research paper, which discusses the movie uh, To Solve a Space Odyssey. The movie is released in 1968, one year before the first moon landing. And the movie is created by, directed by Stanley Kubrick, who is considered to be one of the greatest filmmaker in modern film history. And obviously, this means he created an impressive, amazing body of work. So, um, yeah, but, uh, this that that the, the two thousand one is really really well known. And it's like it's very good movie, but isn't great only for you know great marvelous visual effect but also it encompasses philosophy as well it's generally acknowledged for as as a masterpiece and as a, one of the greatest most influential film of all of time. And I highly recommend that you to watch this movie if you haven't seen it. Because it's really, really good, great movie. And the movie is well known for its immersive set design. And there are a lot of sophisticated, futuristic looking props, but my favorite is Hall 9000. It's an AI com computer and it's an mm, AI computer. Interestingly, the Hall is one of the main characters in, in the movie. But it seems like a an organism or human being because it is able to think and make a decision decisions on its own. So it has obviously it has unconscious consciousness. 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 In fact how is perhaps too human even though it's really, really super intelligent, it still suffers a malfunction and... Well, I don't want to give away too much <laughs> plot. <laughs> but but in, in the end, and it goes, goes, goes crazy. And that's why many critics said that Kubrick successfully conveys the, both the double-sidedness of high technology. And also I agree with that notion. So, I first I brainstormed a little bit, and I sketched, and I also made that one for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Because in, in that movie, one of the most significant symbol is monoliths, a, a mysterious monolith, and they are they suppose we go to uh, the Jupiter, so I just manipulate it and change the color to make a kind of patterns. So start with my like this one. This one is my main mind map, and I, while I just you know brainstorm, I got a separate questions, and some kind of like you know I searched some kind of information about universe, and 
I formulated a hypothesis. <laughs> so, so I imagined that what the inside of hall because like this this one is hall and this one is like I captured from the movie, and this one is inside of hall the in the original film. And I just imagine what the inside of hall would be like because like you know since it seems like a living thing, it probably has a very complicated structure, and it reminds me of. A, Human's body because I once I read an article which is show, talks about the connection between human beings and the universe. So I just imagine that could be possible that Hall is actually a universe for itself and we live inside it. I don't, and so I just like try to draw something that I've never been before because it's universe, <laughs> and also I didn't use a certain shape or like planet or stars or whatever. I didn't use it like you know we usually think star is like circle, and if maybe we can find some. Space, spaceship or something like that, but I didn't use it at all because Hall has complicated structure and also it has potential what is it? Poten <laughs> potential for development. So I think it cannot be, you know, depicted by certain shape. And I also use the color, red, red color, most of the frame because it symbol, symbolizes Hall in the movie. I like guess you can see. But at the same time, I use the red a lot because, you know, usually we, when we think about the color of red, color, red color, we think that it could be a warning sign, warning signs too. So. I assume that maybe it could be a best side to high technology. And the other, I also make like other colors to show uh, diversity throughout the universe. And although we are way past the year 2001, <laughs> It's 2016 now. It has been like about half a century since the film 2001 were, was created. Today we live with tools that closely resemble Hall, and perhaps we need to rethink the future of technology and maybe AI development, maybe because I you know. We, in our class, we watched Ex Machina. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, I yeah. think like it's the perfect type timing to rethink about the, those kind of high technology. Mm -hmm. And we, I think, we live in a complex world. And I have a question: What comes to your mind when people talk about an object that acts like a human? Sounds weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a, have a cell phone with Siri, <laughs> which is scary, similar in capability to Hall. You know, like, even though I ask, like, hey Siri, who am I? You're asking me. You know, she knows me. <laughs> Isn't it <this> scary? <laughs> I think we live in a hall. So, I think, is it possible oh. the hall exists in some dimension? With us? <laughs> 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 